Okay, so uh, we're doing question number eight, part A, from October, November 2015, paper for variant three. This is a question about similarity, and we're told here in diagram D, and so in the diagram, sorry, D is on AC such that angle ADB is the same as angle ABC. Show the angle ABD. A, B, D, this angle here, okay, is equal to angle A, C, B, which is this angle over here. Okay, you've got to show that these two angles are the same. Okay, now, the way we could try and do this is using some sort of similarity. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to... Make this part of that first. Okay. Now, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare this big triangle and this little triangle. So I've got triangle. You have triangle ABD, and you have triangle ACB, which is a big one. Now, if I can prove that those two triangles are similar, then I can prove that you know this angle is equal to that angle. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave the small triangle ABD the same way it is. And I'm going to redraw angle ABC, okay, so that it looks the same kind of orientation as ABD. So I'm going to kind of like redraw it. So what I've done here is something I prepared earlier. I'm going to take the same triangle ABD. I'm just going to make it bigger. So it's kind of like has some sort of relation to triangle ABC, okay? Now, what we can see is this angle here is common. This is angle A. This is a bit lower, so I'm confused. Okay, so this is angle A, and this is also angle A. And the big triangle, okay, this is angle C. I already... Um, it's the one we have to prove that is the same. This is angle C, okay, and this is angle B, the big triangle. Think about the big triangle, okay. So if they're similar, then ACB would be the same as ABD, okay. ABD and ACB would be the same. Now we've got to prove that they're the same, okay. So I've got to prove that these triangles are the same, are, are similar triangles, not the same, similar. Okay, so I know these two angles are definitely the same. Okay, because they're common angles. And I know that this, this angle ABC is the same as angle ABD. Right? Sorry, AD, yeah, ADB. Okay, so ABC is the same as ADB. That's given to us in the question. The question told us that this angle is the same as that angle. Okay, so what we can do is just to make it very clear for the examiner. You can like make a little table statement and reason. Okay, so you can say, for example, what they've told us here, ADB is equal to ABC. Angle ADB is equal to angle ABC. That's given. That's given right there. Okay, and then we can say that um, angle DAB. D A B is equal to angle B A C. <clears throat> okay, so D A B is equal to B A C, and you can say that that's a common angle. You can see it's a common angle in both triangles. Okay, so if therefore we can say that angle, what they asked us to prove, A B D, must be the same as angle A C B. Why? Because angles in a triangle, okay, sum is 180. My terrible handwriting there. But let me just make that a bit neater. Sorry about that, guys. So you got, because angles, okay, let me just do it. So this sum of angles in a triangle, that's probably a better way of saying it. The sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees okay so you don't need to write a big essay about it but it's just this gives a nice clear 
way for the examiner, you sh you've shown that these two angles are the same because that's given in the question. These two angles are the same because they are um, the same corner, basically. They're, they're, they're the common, okay, common angle in both triangles, both the big triangle and the small triangle. Therefore, the angle that they told us to prove are the same are the same, okay, which is this angle and this angle. They must be the same. Let me make it with three lines so that becomes clear. These must be the same because they are, of course, the third angle in the triangle, okay, where the other two angles are equal to each other. Also, are, are the other two corresponding, corresponding angles are the same. So, this is the same as this, this is the same as that, okay, so this angle must be the same as that angle, all right, because the sum of the angles must be 180. Okay, and these two both add up to the same thing as these two. So, 180 minus these two is the same as 180 minus those two. Okay, so that must be um, the case there. Then it says complete the statement, and we just mentioned here okay, that they are similar. Okay, that's how we prove that last triangle. If if all three corresponding angles are the same in any two triangles, that means they are similar. And to prove that all three of them are true, you have to uh, show that two of them are the same. Okay, to, to prove that all three of them are the same, uh, if you prove that two of the corresponding ones are the same, of course the third one must be the same. Now, the next part says A, B, C. A, B is equal to 12, so I'll put that here, 12 centimeters. And B, C is equal to 11 centimeters. And A, C is equal to 16 centimeters. Calculate the length of B, D, and equal to X. All right, so now what we can do here, we can set up some sort of a, a ratio. We can say that the ratio of the corresponding sides must give you the same value. They're similar triangles, okay? So if you... If you double one side, you double the other side, and so on. So what we can say is the ratio of x to 11 must be the same as the ratio of 12 to 16. You must go the same way. I can't say x to 11 and 16 to 12. x to 11 and 12 to 16. Okay, so if they're the same ratio, we can find where x is. Let's so cross multiply. x is going to be 12 over 16 multiplied by 11. Which gives you the answer. Another way of doing it, which I, I, I actually prefer when I'm doing, especially when I'm doing areas and volume ratios, is I'll say, okay, x, well, we have to find the side that corresponds to it is the 11. So I'm going to write 11 down. Then I say to myself, I'm going to make a fraction out of the other two numbers which are in the same corresponding position, that I know both of them, like this 12 and the 16. And I'll say, okay, I know x must be smaller than 11 because it's on the smaller triangle. So I'm going to use these two values with the smaller one over the bigger one. Okay, so you see it's, it's exactly the same thing. 11 times 12 over 16. So I'm going to take the calculator, okay, and I'm going to, sorry, going to do 11 times 12 over 16. And that gives you your answer, which is 33 over 4, which is 8.25. So 8.25 is our final answer for that question. And there we have it. Thank you for listening.